Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and uh, we've got the Moto X here, and the, the 2014 edition. And as you know, uh, the last uh, year's Moto X uh, quite popular with um, touchless control, and right now it's been changed to Moto Voice. In fact, a lot of the features like Assist, um, and now a new one called Actions, and even the Moto Display, which was called Active Display, is in one area now. And so they're not all separate apps all over the place or within the settings. So in order to find them, uh, you just go over to your app drawer and you'll see Moto right there. And when you first uh, turn it on, or first open it, uh, it'll go through the process here of um, telling you a little bit about it and get started. And right now it's going to go through a little bit of the Moto Assist stuff right here. Um, which we'll do a video on that as well. That's for setting up different things for homework and meetings and so on. And it asks you if you're in and it gives you a chance to look at the privacy policy. You say yes, you're in. And then it talks about sending information in order to make things better. And um, you can say yes, we're in over there as well. Now, um, here is where, uh, now I've already recorded my voice, so right now there doesn't seem to be a way of getting rid of the data for the Moto Voice for me to redo it without resetting the phone. So uh, what I'll do is I'll just show you, I'll just re-record it. But at this point here, you'll be given the opportunity to record uh, a command to wake up the phone just like last year's Moto X was it was uh, the one command only and it was OK Google Now. Uh, this year you can use anything you want. You can say um, OK Sweetie, OK Rachel, OK Michael, OK Moto X, OK whatever, um, OK Boston Red Sox, whatever whatever you're, you want. Now if you go here and to the um, settings icon, this is where you'll see the different areas here that you can uh, control. And that's what I was telling you about, what all the apps are in one app right now, in one master app called Moto. So you have your assist, your actions, that's for gestures, we'll do a video on that as well. Your display, that was formerly active display, and now um, it's voice, and that's what we're here to talk about now. So I'll go in the voice right now, and this is the settings, and you'll be able to ha have the opportunity, once you've recorded your voice, to go in and change things. And you can um, set up set up for launching the full, uh, the, the phrase um, and managing the launch phrase, which we're going to go into right now to record it. And um, you can also, because well, if you do lock your device, these will be the commands that will be allowed while your while your phone is locked. And so you can check those as well. And that's quickly notification details, calls, or Google commands. Google commands is off by default, but you can change that. So if you want to do a quick Google search or whatever. Uh, and then you can also speak the pin to unlock the device as well if you choose to do that. So now we're going to go to manage the launch phrase. And we're going to uh, change. Uh, now I had done... Um, Listen up, sweetie, and that says edit your reminder. <laughs> okay, so obviously it works. <laughs> um, so that right there is at the end. It's it's going to have you actually type in what your command is, so it can show you in different areas of the phone at different times. So now we're just going to go change your launch phrase. So this is how you do it. If you've actually recorded it, you would uh, then go in this way to record it to something else, or like I said, you'll just go directly to this from um, when you first open up Moto and go through those uh, pages that I went to. Okay, so now you have two choices. You can go with OK Google Now just like last year or choose something else that you'd like. And they also recommend doing something a little longer, not like something quick like OK Moto because it may not be, you know, as strong. Okay, so now we're going to we're going to stay with the OK uh, Moto X area or any name we want is really what that is. And we're going to sit next. And uh, now it's obviously the same thing as last year. You find a quiet place. And we're going to hit uh, next. And I think right now I'll just, um, we'll call it Rachel. I'll say listen up Rachel. And so now we're going to say, uh, so now it's suggested phrases there. And we're just going to go ahead and record. 
Listen up, Rachel. Oh, that's right. Can't be completed while it's on a table. So there you go. So we're going to do it again. Listen up, Rachel. So now it's telling me it's good. I can try it again. They want to obviously record it a couple more times. Listen up, Rachel. Oops. Forgot to hit the... Listen up, Rachel. All right. Listen up, Rachel. Now they're going to check to see if those matches, uh, those phrases match. And then this is where I was telling you about the typing in. So we'll say, um, we'll go ahead and type that up. Okay. And then there you go. And then you can also, uh, when you say listen up, you can get a list of commands or basically, uh, if you know the commands, you just say them. So now we're going to go back to Moto. And that's, that's pretty much the screen that you'll get when you open up Moto now. So if I go in and I go to Moto, this is where I'll be, where I can go in and make changes to the voice or to the other area. So now uh, let's just turn it off. Listen up, Rachel. Ah. Oh, there, it did go. Uh, so now it's going to mess up now, so let's try it again. Listen up, Rachel. What's the score in the Red Sox game? The Red Sox are trailing the Orioles 4-0 to in the top of the seventh inning. So now there's some new new stuff this year. Um, uh, when you do the command, uh, say "Listen up, Rachel." You'll see here. Uh, or you notice there, and before it said the uh, WhatsApp. Um, uh, you could use you could. It's now with third-party apps. So WhatsApp, Facebook. You can do a Facebook post. Um, so it's just listening to me there. Uh, so you can do things like that. There's also a good morning and a good evening command, although that doesn't seem to be working. They showed us that at the event. I don't know if that's going to come in an update. And a good morning command will turn off your alarm and uh, tell you you know your schedule for the day. And then good night uh, will then put the phone in night mode. So um, you know if you put which basically puts it in silent mode so you don't receive any phone calls uh from anybody that you don't want uh, for only except for only your favorites so uh those two commands are also new but like i said don't seem to work right now it just does like a generic search and that's pretty much it there's really not a lot different with it than last year it's just re re rebranded to moto voice and um, you have the same types of commands. The only difference is you can call it whatever you want and a few new commands. So that's Moto Voice on the brand new Moto X 2014. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. This is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android.